a special message for cancer research. I'm Eddie Smith, or Edward Smith, of Elso Films, and I've been trying to contact you about a donation. And I, I'm i disabled with arthritis, and I'm not very good with a keyboard. I sent you messages, and they don't work. I hope you've got the message, and you get onto my website, and you will see this. What I want to tell you about is that I, I've i never donated to your research because you seem to be researching all the wrong things. Now you're researching, you're saying cigarettes cause cancer, you're saying pollution causes cancer. This is rubbish. They don't cause cancer. They may activate it. Cancer is a cell, a pre-cell, pre-cancer cell. And under normal circumstances, it's destroyed by the immune system. I'm 74. I'm not any worries about cancer because I've got such a strong immune system, they haven't got a hope in hell. I have other problems because I have an overactive immune system. And I'm prepared to denote a thousand pound. Now this is going over the web, so I can't get out of it. Provided you research the immune system and not these all other rubbishy things you're wasting your money on. Now a thousand pound to me is a lot of money. It's a fifth of my life savings. I'm, I'm on, inc I'm on uh, incapacity benefit, and I'm, <coughs> I'm on um, pension credit. By the way, all my speeches are off the cuff, ad lib. I don't write anything down. So if you wonder why I, keep going. Uh, <coughs> if you're wondering what my ulterior motive is, because I've got an overactive immune system, if you find, you will find that uh, you should find a cure for me as well. Actually, I, I get a lot of skin trouble, stomach trouble, mouth trouble caused by my immune system attacking things. Anyway, I will donate £1,000 to you provided you guarantee to me that it will be used to research the immune system. Now, I know the reason there's so many people going down with cancer and other things like HIV. It's because their immune systems are weak. And the reason their immune systems are weak is because of the generations we've been overprotective. We've uh, disinfected everything out, destroy all the germs. Our bloody immune system's meant to do that. And if you don't give them anything to do, they, well, they uh, go haywire. And things like when a little kid drops some food on the floor and picks it up and goes to eat it, mummy says, oh, don't eat that. The best thing that child could do would be to eat it. Because if you drop something on the floor, the amount of germs that get on it are so minute Provided it's at right away, even an ice cream dropping on the floor. I'd done it. I, I had picked up ice cream when I was a kid that fell on the floor and had it. That helps to build up your immune system. And uh, you want to do research into... I mean, I've overdone it, you see. I've, um, I've had too many vegetables and whatnot that they tell you to eat. I've now started going on fast food rubbish diets to see if that helps. <laughs> I, I have to take prednisone, prednisone to, uh, t to keep my immune system in check. But you'll find that that's the reason cancer and HIV and that. HIV is a retrovirus and you know what retro means? It's from the past. And in the past our immune system would have destroyed it. What happens is every generation the immune system's getting weaker and weaker and weaker because people are too overprotective. I'm not saying that you shouldn't keep the place clean and all that. 
but if you do not come into contact with these substances as a child, you do not build up an immune system to uh, to protect them from these things. And <clears throat> have you ever wondered why cancer affects the very young and the very old? Because when you're very young, your immune system's weak, and when you're very old, your immune system starts to weaken. Unfortunately, mine hasn't weakened enough. It's still giving me ill. Arthritis is caused by an overactive immune system. Fifty years ago, I was saying this, and they wouldn't believe me. They've now accepted it. Um, I said that I will donate £1,000 of my money, and I, that is a fifth of my savings to cancer research so long as they promise to research this in my what's it? my uh, I don't want you to research the other blooming researches you're wasting money on so uh, also you can use my website to advertise you can use me in any way you want to advertise providing it's to advertise the immune system if you find that how to I, I suspect that uh, you could build people today could build up their immune systems just by changing their diet um, but uh, how you're going to change what's happened in the past I don't know you see because every generation uh, if a child's mollycoddled and they don't get the uh, immune system built up the next generation it's passed on it gets worse uh, in a hundred years time if they carry on like this there'll be no human beings left because they'll all be so weak immune systems that they, they won't be able to protect themselves against the bloody cold um, I used to have the flu jab each year and I've stopped doing that now it gives my immune system something to do you see if I have the flu jab it doesn't anyway <coughs> there's my offer uh, any way I can help, you can use me in any way you want, but you must promise me that you will not waste the money on anything other than studying the... It's a case of prevention, not cure. All you're doing is running around finding out how to cure the symptoms. You know, all the ca different cancers, um, lung cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, and all that other rubbish, all the... Uh, there's only one cancer. And it's cancer, it's, it's a cell that grows because their, the immune system hasn't destroyed it as a pre-cancer pre cell. So uh, there's the offer, it's up to you. Thank you, goodbye.